Oro as well. He's playing a Fairy version. Most people play Oro Kings with Hagon because they have access to just good cards like Zolani and Sambus, but he's actually playing it with um, Fairy. Interesting. I mean, this is gonna be a long matchup to be honest, right? He's gonna play efficient units on board, so this might just come in handy. This will give me maybe like. Oh, okay. Fortune in hand already, nice. Fast spell as well, could be good. Hmm, fast. Don't need to block that or attack. We just block the 1 1 anyway. Champion Strike could be good here. I know he's not in Ionia, he's not in Banner City, he's not in Sharima, so he doesn't have access to the uh, Holy Knight. Oh, wait, crap, but he does have access to Very Nice. I hate that card with Passion. I do not like that card. Oh, the fact that it just puts your whole board in this ice and then you can't do crap and then you need to wait for two turns it's so bad i hate that card i do not like that card i should just do this probably should attack misfortune to be honest as well what could he do with one mana that would keep misfortune here i don't think that's a lot so this should be safe to be honest this should be slightly better so both units survives i guess but robbing does take a bit of damage but i think both units surviving is better since i do have top spells in my hand right now because I most likely pass into four into this one and fight into one of the inspiring lights to buff everyone by plus one plus one. If this could pull out me a misfortune as well, that could just be game winning, by the way. Tracker? I guess I could just play it. Oh bro, of course, of course. Of course, of course. You get you get challenger. Great. Of course. I'm so happy for you, man. I'm so I'm so happy for you. This is gonna be a fun game, yay! Of course you get challenger though, of course. It's fine, I'm not pissed, duh. I'm not angry. Give me misfortune. God damn it. I guess, yeah, it's creepy, why not? Really, you're playing Poro King here? It's a generic 5 cost 4 4. Mm, I'm impressed, okay. This would just be damage here. Should I even attack with Browings and Trackers here to be honest? I don't think so. I don't think I need to. I guess I should just attack with this Browing, right? I, I can swap my board again with this card on turn 6. So might as well just make this trade here and just push her A damage, I guess. Uh, yeah. Pretty good if you ask me. He does get a Portal Snacks, I guess, but that's fine. Because, you know, Summon from Deadless he does get a Portal Snacks. I could have actually killed Portal King here if my misfortune was alive. But you know, she's dead. But it is what it is. Oh, Quinn is better than this, right? Definitely. Just jam down Quinn. You need three more Poros. Uh, two more Poros. Congrats. Good luck. Hopefully, he doesn't get the frozen snacks. That would be the most annoying one to deal with, to be honest. Drawing two Poros, okay, so we can actually level Poro King if he draws into two of the one drops. Because they draw only Poro. Oh wow, oh damn. Okay, he's leveling Poro here. Ah, uh, Poro King. Congrats. I'll just do this. Might go for, for the Marcia next turn, to be honest. In fact, so Poro King's fit at a special snack. If he gets. Uh, of the frostbite ones, I might actually just lose, to be honest, the saying. I do the. I think I always go for this, right? Yeah. I thought about maybe attacking with scout units first, but this is better. Because now, uh, Vela is a threat for Poro King here. You can try to kill him. Okay, so he gets another special snack. So he basically has two of them right now. To try, but he has definitely has something, right? Yes. has special snacks. What am I doing? Thank you, impact you. Commit. Gotta hope that it does have freezes as well. That's fine. Let's see what keywords us Poro can get. Challenger? Oh my god. Okay. Kind of, hey. He keeps on getting good keywords and good keywords. Okay, that's fine. So attack like this. Um, pull you. I mean, he's gonna have a. Actually, there's no way I'm pulling um, Poro King here, right? He's just gonna pull a snacks here. So I, I guess I should just do this. Maybe do this, I guess, pull quick attack. Actually, I should pull, probably pull both of the quick attack units. They are slightly smaller, but I don't think it matters. I'd rather kill the 
portals with he was right, if that makes sense. Yeah. Come in. Okay. He's sacrificing all of his portals. Mm. Not really a good idea, my good sir, because you're not playing in Targon, right? This would be a good play if he's playing in Targon, because the Zolani just get that boosted, but he's not playing in Targon, so... I mean, he needed to block that, because he would've definitely died, but then you're in a pretty awkward scenario now. Little champ is trying to win the game here. Is very nice 8 mana? I'm not quite sure, actually. I'm playing it safe, I'll pass. I've got, is very nice 8 mana or 9 mana? I should just pass here, though. He's definitely gonna play, like, I don't know, Polo Snacks or whatever. Then I'll just okay. So GG. I'm pretty sure uh very nice is not three mana, so this is pretty safe here. Yeah, give me a day plus four plus four, give attack token. That's fine unless you hire some like good keyword. Dallas maybe? Bash is pretty mediocre. So yeah, this is GG. Yep, good game. He knows it. Too big for him to handle. Even though he played two four snacks, this is not good enough. Nami Masky, wow, he even has the skins, man. Chill. I has high mass three points as well. This is really gonna be a uh, this loss here. I'll just have to wait and see. Probably football. Shash Shocker is good, but I'd rather find yeah, more impactful cards to be honest. Turn two, turn three. It's not turn five, I guess. Marion one is not that bad as well. Oh wait, why did I pass that one? I mean, it's fine, right? I guess because I, when I, I play this on turn three, it should be good as well. Since it's getting buffed by Bram Sculpture. I guess he could play around. I don't know why could he could play around. I don't think the one health health matters in this matchup, but maybe he gets like parlay, for example, from like horror creatures that could play around parlay, so it could be good, I guess. I mean he's attacking, he obviously has like Guru style, or maybe parlay. Like he caught them from horror creatures here. Um that's fine. Okay. Let me just browing first. I'd rather just give browing changes instead of this uh tracker over here. Yeah, I can just try to kill Nami potentially. He could have Wu just out though, which is kinda problematic. Nami survives with one health then. I must go for it, right? There's no way I'm not going for it. Let's try to go for it. Oh god damn it, he does have Wu just out. So Nami does survive with one health sadly. It is what it is though. I could try to kill her again with Tracker. I still have Tracker on board, so it's very possible that she dies here. Maybe he decides to tag out for uh, infusion turns. Another Durham sculpture? Okay, I guess I'm playing it. Not worth it. Every work demands a piece of ourselves. Then should I play you? If I play you, then next time I won't actually be able to play this. If I play this, I, I would have five units on my ward, so I won't be able to summon a tree drop from this card. So it might be smarter just to play this card. It's more impactful than where I warded anyway. Top deck this. Nah, it's still worth it to play this. Um, I guess... I mean, Brawling is a 4-4. This is a 3-3, but this does give me 4 Demacia instantly, right? So I don't need to play this to get it, I guess? Is that better? I think Challenger unit is pretty good though in this matchup, obviously. Because, the Elusive. It should be better. Oh yeah, because uh, I forgot to mention that when you just get like Brawling, for example, you need to summon a unit to get Challenger, right? This counts as the unit because you're you're getting the Brawling and then you play this card and then Brawling would get immediately Challenger, right? So you don't need to play another unit for Brawling to get Challenger. Keep that in mind when you're playing this card with a, a Brawling and Tracker. Because whatever, if you pull up Brawling or Tracker here, you, you will immediately give the bird Challenger, by the way. Oh, pretty big unit. Try to go for it again. Maybe this will be a better play. But i rather just play it safe, right? Yeah. I can attack you as well. You're a 3 5. And my so if you actually die here, that's not my problem anyway. Because I would like to swap the board again with you again. Must be like a tag out here, to be honest. Okay. Burn the momentous choice in the first form. That's good enough. I will find the moonstone. I will save my people. Yeah, this is not gonna be good for me, is it? This is gonna return Nami on board with full health, by the way, and level, and I'm just dead. He only has one elusive unit for now, though, so maybe I'm not too dead. Just saying, maybe. 
You just have to wait and see. Form up could be good. Double trouble again. Don't get a lucid unit, please. Okay, nice. They are pretty weak, to be honest. I'll play you again. Give me misfortune. Something impactful. <laughs> Another one? Uh, I guess. Why not? Sure. That's probably the best unit out of the rest anyway, so why not? I think I'll just take the damage. If that's his only play, right? Yeah, skip. Pass. Is playing around the Knight better or just playing for the Marcia better? I could play this technically to play around uh, the Knight. Hmm. Nah, let's just try to go for it, right? I do have a second one. This might be a, just a long matchup to be honest. Because, oh wow, no deny? Holy crap. This is so good here. I guess I'll attack with the Rams coaches as well. Yeah. They already gotten their value here, so let's just attack. It's applying a lot of pressure here that to deal with. What the hell? What? You have four cards in your hand and you have five blockers and you're telling me you're just gonna give up. Three wins or three win, I guess. Pygrex, I hate this matchup. And I, I just hate Pygrex in general. Lurks, go burr, you miss Lurk, you surrender, right? That's fun, that's fun gameplay right there. Don't get me wrong, if you hit Rek'Sai on like turn 2, you're just basically the best player in the world. And that feeling is just gonna be amazing, right? But if you miss Lurk, and then you might as well just cry. Hey, one drop, nice. Sadly, this one drop can't block a fierce in those. So that's slightly annoying, but uh, that's alright. Oh my god, he missed luck. Yep, GG. I won't actually be surprised if he surrenders here. He actually missed luck. Well, rip you, I guess. It happens to the best of us sometimes. It happens. Okay. I mean, I kind of don't want to pull now because he missed luck. I'm actually attacked with Durham's culture, which is a funny card. Um, I guess I should just pass here, to be honest. Yeah, I'll just pass. Okay, maybe I need to pull the Pierce, to be honest. Yeah, slightly annoying. So, turn 3, turn 4, maybe this and turn 5, go crazy. Yeah, pretty much. Former is quite nice as well. But that's a bit stupid annoying. I guess I should just play Brobbing now then, yeah. Yeah, I'll just play Brobbing. Just get a buff at least. What if he miss luck again? That'd be hilarious. Okay, he doesn't. Can I shocker heal? Misfortune top deck? No. That's still fine though. Like, buff spells could play around potentially Pike, which is really good. He's predicting on a non attacking turn. Interesting play. I guess he just wants to develop something which makes sense. To pull you, right? Maybe this? I guess I should pull this, right? Pike, uh, probably go to 1 health, but then if I have buff spells, it go to plus 3, plus 3, or whatever. It's not that bad. Just kill the strongest unit while I still can. That's quite nice to develop on turn 4. Sadly, I did not have anything there. So yeah, I'll just play Quinn. If only you were- if I had you on turn 4, I would've gladly played you, but that's fine. I'll play Quinn. It's a pretty good blocker for basically every of his units. So, I mean, he could still attack with that, but that's fine. That's I think I'm. Wait, there's no way I'm blocked. Should probably block like this then and commit. Pass. I am worried that if I go for this, that he might have. What's the card again? Um. Renegation, so I guess I'll just play it safe for now. Oh, I keep getting this one drop. This one drop is always just <laughs> summoned whenever I have a unit that summons a one drop. This unit is, it, it is good, but it's not that good. Like, I need at least like a 2 1 please game. Come on. Okay, big unit. Uh, do this, do this, do this, do this. Pull you away, I guess. This should be a pretty fine attack. I do have form up anyway to respond to anything that he has. Oh, Prowl? Actually, he runs that card? Weird. Impressive. 
think I'll respond with this and with this, right? Just so I can kill Pike off as well. He's kinda annoying if he blitz, right? He's kinda annoying. Back again for more damage. Don't mind if I do. Another one? Okay, sure. Again, this is a good blocker. Rek'Sai, ooh wee. It's not he flips uh, Rek'Sai here, right? Is it possible? I mean, it is technically if he has both of the spell that gives uh, her plus 2 attack. Wow, he missed luck again. Oh my god, it's so sad, bro. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> GG. There's no way you're coming back from this after you missed 2 loves, bro. Rally? Oh, Pike! Okay, maybe he does have a chance. No key. Pass. Collect like something good, please. Like a unit to develop at least. Okay, sure. It's a unit to develop. Predict? Why are you- Again, he keeps on predicting on a non-attacking turn. I guess he really wants to find something good, right? For next turn. Which makes sense, but... Most people just predict when you're attacking. No renegation? Wow, nice. Always forward. He needs a block. It's 5 damage. Hacks it, okay. Yeah, you're dead here. Unless you have a unit to play. What is this card? Nice, GG. Tag. He only has 2 blockers, 3 attackers. Equals with. Wow, Darius, uh, Gwen, okay. Must be big OM unit plus Hollow again. Definitely Mulligan these two. This should be interesting. I want to play this card so bad. I haven't actually have a game that where I can actually play this card or draw into it, right? But it's definitely a Mulligan. You don't have it. <laughs> There's no way you're telling me you're getting a 5 drop on in your hand, right? You probably should yeah, try to find Mulligan the early game cards. I have my okay. Oh, he's also an aggro deck. Huh? Makes sense. I guess turn 2 is most likely Mirai Warden. I would love to play her, but I got a block, so... Yeah, oh, you're back. I guess I could just play you turn 5 now, since I have a pretty good hand anyway. It might be a bit annoying. I mean, Quinn is actually better than this on the 5 though, to be honest. I should do this though. Ah, it's definitely not worth it. Not blame his fortune here. For trouble. It found you. Very good. I don't think he has pink spells, right? Hopefully, I'm not wrong. But Noxia, Noxus and Shadows don't have pink spells. So, this fortune surviving at 1 health is pretty good here. Oh, that's so good. Okay. That's like the best play on turn 4, actually. Heads up with Misfortune is so good. Because he can't really block any anyway, right? Because all of his Phantom Butlers only has 1 health, so it's basically 3 damage for now. Next turn might be worrisome, just saying, but this is pretty good. Like, oh wait, that could actually block Misfortune. Well, lucky you. Can I have Misfortune now? Congrats. This is a lot of pressure here. Pretty good top deck, man. That extra 4 damage can be handy with. And they're pretty good blockers anyway, too. This is quite nice, actually. A fearsome blocker, if I really need to block the Phantom Butlers here. Attacking here? Really? Um, Should block you. Block you, block you. Playing it safe for now. I can easily solve the board with these two cards anyway. So I should be fine here. Give me another misfortune, please. That'd be hilarious. Ah, oh, damn it! Of course you don't. I guess Browning is decent, right? This is also quite nice, actually. This swaps the ball. I I play one five drop, I get three units. It could be good, but Browning should be the play, right? Nah, I think the swapping. Yeah, the swapping ball. <laughs> Long time no see. Pass. I think he should be dead here. Oh my god, does he have not here further? He has not here further than he wins, actually. Oh, he has another copy of this card that will allow him to do to damage the face. There's no way he wins like that, right? That's boring. Maybe he does have it. Okay, 
Mm, not blocking. Really sus. It's for sure we'll get the level. That's fine. Do I have leader here? Or do I go with spraying light? Attack like this, it's always gonna like block. block. Yeah, I think I have leader here. Because misfortune when she attacks, she gets oh yeah, I'm so she's a 4 2 over here. All eyes on me. Should be a-okay, they should just be leader here. I don't think he has anything that could respond to this other than not sure how to just win the game. Your path ends here. For death. Yep, GG. Misfortune when she levels, she has a well, so that's just like the damage. She can't even block. So, thank god he doesn't have no hero, man. He would have won again, actually, if he had it. Oh, the Dragon of Brawlyard. Must be a ramp deck. I mean, the other guy basically just died because he double ramped without playing anything, so maybe this guy dies as well? Mmm, honestly, pretty good curve. No one drop, though. Imagine if I have one drop, though. Come on, imagine, imagine. Oh, no one drop, sadly. It happens sometimes, but it is what it is. At least, like, turn 2, turn 3, turn 4, turn 5. Pretty good. Not too shabby, to be honest. Oh, you would have been great, one. Just saying. Like, extra 2 damage, basically. Another one? Oh my god, you're just taunting me now, game. You're like, haha, you don't get to play the one drop turn 1. That's what you get. Okay, interesting. He might have another one for next man. He's going for this, right? I don't think he. I think he always has another one. Maybe I develop. I'm not quite sure actually. Misfortune is so good here. I think I just play misfortune here, right? This is good, but then he avalanche and he kills the one drop anyway. I think I read I'm misfortune here. Guys, but not that good. I shot. Holy crap! Why are you playing so many just AOE damage spells? He just hates aggro, I guess. He's like, I'm facing too much aggro, man. I'm killing everyone. Just use 6 damage, though, which is pretty good. Okay. I thought he was about to play like another eyeshadow, whatever. Time for violence. Should be pretty good here. I don't know if I'm gonna be Quinn into maybe for the mass, yeah, so he doesn't can't clear my ball very easily. But you gotta keep in mind that he might have very nice though, just saying. Very nice might just absolutely destroy me. On the other hand. Okay, he's passing and I'm passing. I think I don't go for for the mass just yet. I'll do just this like for the six damage and see whether or not he plans on using harsh winds here. Because I think the best play for him is basically very nice or harsh winds. Because he might wait for this attack to be done. Very nice me and then develop and I just still go for later anyway. So let's see what he has. Okay, he does have harsh wind, so okay, I can just go for later with this card anyway. It's GG. Or for Nemasia as well. Lita? Yeah, pretty much. Well, that's a bit better. Yep, you. I could have went for the Marcia there, but I wanted to go for the fire drop so I could pull another misfortune. That would have been hilarious, but that's still fine. Great. Now let's get back out there. The hell? Berserker. Azir Renekton. Okay. Might be wary of Quicksand though. It could just remove Scout for me, which is a bit annoying, so keep that in mind. Don't need Challenger. Don't need you. I think in this matchup I need to find like impactful cards to be honest. There's not gonna be that impactful. Scout buff could be useful here, but probably need a full mulligan to maybe find misfortune. I'll keep you though. Buff is not that bad. Like buffing my units is just pretty good. Okay, like pretty good two drop here. Other than my hand, my last hand to be honest. Chemistry as well. It's not gonna be that useful though. Again, deny. Not deny but Ryan negation right stops it. Up, sure. I'm going brawling here. 
he might play Rock Pressure on turn 3 and then this would be able to pull it if I need to. He might not just play Rock Pressure, but he might be forced to just pass the country then. Yeah, pass. The 3 damage is not worth it if I'm just denying him the Rock Pressure up anyway, right? Why not? Renekton, really I see. Well, I mean, I might as well just pass here, right? But yeah, alright, I might as well just pass here. He's definitely gonna pull something. Yep. Four map can put trade here. He doesn't have mana for quicksand, so he can't really stop this. This is always a scary key to keep Renekton, sadly, my boy. Yep, pretty good. Roaming again. Next turn, go you. Maybe turn 6, go for Scout, and then turn 6, go, go for, for the Masia when I'm attacking. Okay. Hello, new best friend. Let's go for a big attack, shall we? That could be a bit annoying, I guess. Hey, that's Rock Pressure. Sure. I guess I'll pull this one then. Hey, it's full bot attack. Must be the one that the nice gives the spells. It could be the one that gives vulnerable, but I don't think so. Oh, it is? Okay. It's gonna give this one? Okay, sure. Should probably go form up here though, in my opinion. I'd rather just protect my units so I can go for a whiteboard of buff with for the Marcia on turn 7. You could have uh, in it. It is what it is if he does that, but still definitely worth it to give it a shot, right? Yeah. Still no champions though, sadly. This hand is... Questionable, but it's alright. Sure. Should I? Nah, there's no way I'm playing this next turn, right? I'll just develop you and go for the Fortnite Master next turn. Glory's Call, okay. What good unit he could get? I guess he could get the unit that would be annoying is the one that summons two Sand Soldiers when played, right? That would just be three free blockers, basically. But he is swarming the board, so I'm presuming he didn't get it, right? I mean. I could also just attack here, and then just pull you, and then go for champion strength. Hmm. Maybe better play would actually be doing this. Pull you, pull you, and then up this go champion strength. Yeah. He, has, he does have cell mana, so I'm presuming that he's going to go for some form of play, maybe developing Renekton or something else. Please go below Relegation mana, that would be lovely. Okay, it does. Okay. So that was the card I mentioned. The one that when uh, summoned, summoned two Sand Shoulders as blockers. So I'm definitely just going Champion Strength here. He does have Renegation, so this is pretty good. I have an attack with Scout, by the way. So this unit can easily just attack for free and just pull one of the Sand Soldiers to deny a blocker. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Commit. You there for free. Why not? I get to attack again, and this is most likely the Slither. Ah, uh, pull you, pull you. GG, okay. One blocker, four attacker. Zero mana, yep. I mean, I think he did well, but uh, Champion Strength is just broken. Giving everything plus four plus four while rallying is pretty good in general.